Hey guys, welcome to Dilly May Smoke Barbecue. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. It doesn't have a lot to do with smoking other than the uh, one of the things that we're going to use to smoke. Today we're going to do bacon bread. And some of you may have heard about this, some of you may not, some of you may have had it, who knows. But basically what we're going to do is we have gel bacon. Now this is smoked gel bacon. We did not smoke this, we bought it already pre-smoked. And what we've done is we put it on these skewers, these looms or these steel sticks whatever you want to call it and we basically taken you can't really see it, but we've taken a knife and kind of cross cut it cut it cut it and uh, we're going to use we've got some uh, garlic salt rye bread chopped up green pepper chopped up tomato chopped up onion and then over here we have our fire going <clears throat> so first thing I want to say is if you have cholesterol problems do not do this this is a heart attack waiting to happen so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna do one piece of bread, just to show you what it's like. What we're going to do is take this piece of rye bread, which is, you can use any kind of rye bread, and you can use any kind of vegetables that you like as well. But uh, this is what I grew up on, and this is what we're gonna to continue to do. So we're gonna take this piece of rye bread over here to the fire. And just, I mean, throw it on top of the uh, top grate here to kind of toast it. Shouldn't take but a minute or two to get that done. And we'll toast both sides to give it some of that, give it a nice crisp texture. Yeah, it's only gonna take a couple minutes. And then I'll move that out of the way and show you what we're gonna do. You're gonna love this, man. If you've never done this, you've gotta try it. Like I said, if you got cholesterol problems, don't do this, man, because this is um, death waiting to happen. Take that thing, nice, that's nice and crisp. Throw it on that side. Some of you probably can guess what's going to happen next, but uh, we'll take you through the whole process here. Man, I grew up doing this stuff. We would do this thing almost weekend every summer. Family would come over. Now we use. Uh, uh, any kind of rye bread. This is light rye. This has seeds in it. You can use seedless. Anything. You don't even have to use rye bread, I guess, if you don't want to. You can use any kind of bread you want. So, it's nice and crisp. So we'll move this out of the way. And then you guessed it. We're going to stick this slab of jowl bacon right over here on the fire. And what we're looking to do, we want to get it to where it's cooking and dripping grease. And then you guessed it. We're going to take that dripping grease we're going to soak this bread with bacon grease. Hence, if you have cholesterol problems, do not do this. I mean, you can do it if you want if you have cholesterol problems, but I'm telling you, it uh, it is good. Uh, you don't know if you can see how it's starting to drip. So we'll take that, man. We're just going to take this and just kind of soak the bread a couple times. I don't know if you can hear or not, but you can kind of hear the fire popping and cracking as that grease drips into there. And there's no amount, no nothing. You can just put as much grease or as well, a little grease on the bread as you want. And then what's really cool is we're not going to do it today, but once this stuff starts to cook and you can kind of see it starting to cook, you can chop that stuff off there and put it on the bread and get you some bacon chunks if you want but we're not going to do that so it's kind of got a decent layer of uh, grease on there I don't know if you can see the how greasy that bread is but that's greasy man so what I'm going to do take a little bit of the garlic salt Kind of put it all over the bread, man. Like that. And then I'm going to top it with veggies. Start with a little bit of onion, tomato, and there's no rhyme or reason to this. Just throw it on there, man. Some green pepper. And again, you can use any kind of vegetable you want. You want to use mushrooms, whatever. Whatever trips your trigger. Then we're going to come back over here. And we're going to kind of saute it, sort of, if you will. 
we're just going to get this piece of uh, jowl bacon nice and hot so it's really dripping. You can see the fire starting to come up. It's that grease dripping into there. And we're just going to roll it on top. Just like that. And slowly cook those vegetables. Now we're not going to cook them to the point to where you cook them in a skillet or anything, but just to get them nice and flavored. Maybe kind of get them a little pliable. And again, you can do this any way you want. I mean, if you wanted to, hell, you could pre-cook the veggies if you wanted, I guess, but we're not going to do that. And we're just going to keep doing this. And again, there's no rhyme or reason to how this comes out or when it's done. It's just completely to your liking. I'm one of those guys, man, the more grease, the better. Because if anybody knows, man, anything with bacon, I mean, you can put that on cow dung, wrap it. Wrap the cow dung and bacon and saute it. It's, it's going to be good. And you could probably get 25 or 30 pieces of bread out of one of these pieces of jowl bacon. You can probably get more than that if you trim off the, the cook part of it. You, can, know, you probably can't hear, but you just hear those veggies just sizzling on that piece. This is it, man. A little living out in the country brings you. Oh yeah, that's sounding amazing. And you just keep doing this until uh, until the veggies are your liking. Probably gonna hit this one more time and bite into this. you can see that or not but got the veggies nice and cooked and what we're gonna do man is just fold this bad boy in half like that and you can see the grease penetrating through and just bite into it mm. man that's heaven what I said mm, man if you've never done this before you gotta do it and you don't need a pit like this you know, you can just kind of dig out a hole in the ground if you want, throw some wood in there and start a little fire. And uh, get you some hot coals in there, throw some wood on there, and just uh, get you some bread and go. This stuff's so good. Mm. Amazing. Really amazing. But there you have it. Man, this is what we do out in the country. So, remember, ring that bell. Hit that like button, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe.